for the day. It's Friday. Let's go home. Ooh, it feels so good out here. Oh my gosh. Fall is officially here. Hi guys, happy Friday. Welcome back. Um, I just got home from work. I'm hungry. I didn't eat my lunch at work, so I'm about to have my lunch before I take my, excuse me, my daily nap. <laughs> I sound like a child. But I made a salad this morning for lunch and because my breakfast and my snacks were so big, I didn't really get hungry at work. But after being in traffic for an hour, I'm starving, so I'm about to have this salad. It's a sweet kale salad, but I add my own little, okay? I add my own little thing to it. I added blueberries and some fajita chicken. And then I'm gonna have it with a little bit of the poppy seed dressing that comes in the sweet kale salad mix. I really thought I forgot this at home and I didn't eat it with my breakfast. It's guacamole, I eat it daily because of the fats and the fiber, but whatever. So I'm about to eat my lunch. I'm probably gonna watch something on Netflix. And then I'm gonna take a nap with my head propped up because you're not supposed to sleep after you eat. But I'm so hungry. Okay. I had the same salad yesterday and it was so good. Like when I say I inhaled it, crushed it. Okay, I didn't really mix it well, so I'm gonna see if I could do a little bit better. But this is the salad. It's just a Target brand sweet kale salad mix with chicken from Aldi and fresh blueberries. Um, it's super filling, super delicious, and it fits the macros that I am following. So, yeah, that's lunch, AKA pre-workout for the gym. Okay, okay. That's my alarm telling me it's time to start heading to the gym. Um, So I am ready for the gym. I just put on my clothes and I think I have a mosquito bite in my thigh, but this is what I'm wearing because today is leg day. My favorite shorts from Amazon. And then one of these Nike shirts that I got from the outlet. Speaking of the outlet, I think I might go tomorrow maybe. Because I need some more winter stuff from Nike. I want a few more hoodies and I want a few more long sleeve t-shirts. And going to the outlet is great because you always hit them when they have sales. So you're not paying like super dumb prices. But yeah, I'm about to throw on some black socks because I'm working out on the turf today. I don't like to wear white socks when I work out on the turf because I don't want to see the dirt. Like, it's just, it makes me feel disgusting when I can see it. I know the black socks are getting dirty, but I'm not seeing it, so it's not bothering me. If I was wearing the white socks, it would absolutely make me want to just, like, stop working out and go home. So, yeah. That is the fit. Uh, I'm going to wear some sweatpants because it's supposed to get down to, like, the 50s tonight, I believe. Yeah, it's supposed to get down to, like, 53 tonight. So, I'm going to wear some sweatpants because I usually leave the gym a little late, but... Let's be on our way. Ooh, my leg looks nice. Losing weight is so hard, but it's so amazing to see how your body changes. Anyway, let me stop talking, I gotta go. Okay, so I have my water. I refilled it because I drank most of it at work. I try to drink two of these a day, which equals about a gallon. And then I'm currently been on like an Alani energy drink vibe. 200 grams of, per of caffeine, not too much, not too little, just enough for me to like really power through my workout and then still be able to sleep later on at night. So I've been loving that. But yes, I put on my sweatpants and my black socks. I might record my workout again tonight from all the way from the warm up 
to the end of it just to show you guys and actually talk through it because I feel like the last time that I posted it two videos ago I didn't really talk much so um I might or I can just share with you all something else because I've been getting a lot of questions about my arms since that one post I have on Instagram went viral and I'm just like you guys really want me to show you my arm routine? I only do two exercises. I'm sorry to say that my arms are primarily genetics and then a few exercises, but it's primarily genetics. I'm sorry. Okay, bye. successful workout I stayed a little longer than I should have because I was chatting it up with a friend of mine but really really good workout I think I exhausted myself bring my protein shake shower and get in bed to go do my morning cardio my coach cut my cardio down so I don't have to do that much today thank God um, today I'm only doing 30 minutes instead of one hour that is amazing okay so I'm doing two 30 minute sessions this weekend instead of my usual hour and I'm just like thank you Lord um, I'm gonna await myself I'm still at the 30 pound loss mark, which is good because I thought I had gained. My waist beads dropped. We, we are just doing really good over here, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy. 
Um, I'm having my green juice before I head downstairs to do my cardio. And then today the plan is to go to the farmer's market to pick up some produce because I need some leafy greens. I really want to increase how much leafy greens I'm eating because I feel like if I add more voluminous food to my diet, it'll fill me up so that I'm not having like cravings or hunger pangs later on in the day because I've been experiencing a lot of that lately. I want to go to Whole Foods to get some short ribs because I really want something savory for dinner and I'm okay cooking it myself. So I'm going to pick up some short ribs, some cauliflower to make cauliflower mash because short ribs go well with mashed potatoes but because I'm doing low carbs I'm going to substitute that for ma um, mashed cauliflower. I'm also going to get my car wash because it's really really dirty so I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to clean and then that's about it. I'm spending the day in. I did want to go to the movie so that's still up. I didn't get to go last weekend because of the rain if you watched my last vlog. I don't go during the week because of work. Um, so if I can knock everything out today at a decent time, then I'm definitely going to go to the movie because I want to watch the Equalizer movie. I can watch it on bootleg, but my boo Denzel does not deserve bootleg. He deserves the best of me, which is my coins. So I'm going to go to the theater, pop my feet up. I might even take my own popcorn, pop my own popcorn, throw it in my purse, go to the theater and eat that with some Diet Coke. You know, you got to do what you got to do. Um, let me show you guys something. You guys. I bought the cutest mug at Starbucks yesterday. Can y'all see this? Mm. You can't really see it because it's it's so light. Let me see if I can put it in. Oh, here we go. You look look at the color. Oh, look at that, y'all. It's so pretty. My little sister, when she was living on campus, she would use her campus money to buy me Starbucks tumblers from her school. And it really wasn't her money, it was like tuition money. But because she's no longer living on campus, I gotta buy it with my own money. I was so sick. This thing is $25. <sighs> it's beautiful though. So I might fill this up with some Diet Coke and take it to the movies tonight. Um, but yeah, enough rambling. I'm about to drink this, head downstairs, knock this cardio out, and then start. <laughs> So this is what I'm wearing to the farmer's market. It is currently 11.24, they close at one, so I'm going to head out of the house soon. Just wanted to show you guys my outfit, Nike sweatpants, Nike crop top, these Yankees hat that I got from Amazon. Is this Na Yankees? Yes. Um, and then obviously Nike socks. And I'm gonna probably put on, I don't know what shoes I'm gonna wear, but yeah. I'm gonna head out now. This crop top is like really, really big for me now since I lost so much weight. So I literally have to like tuck it into my pants to make it look attractive, but, or presentable. But yeah, this is what I'm wearing. Um, I'll see you guys at the farmer's market. so tired only because it's like hot outside it was not supposed to be this hot it's hot so I didn't even get to do everything that I wanted to do I literally went to the farmers market then I went to Whole Foods and that's it and it's just because I'm so tired 
and hot. But I think I'm, I can either rest for like an hour and then go to the last few stores. Because honestly, I really just wanted to go to like either TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or Ross. Because I want to get a lamp for my bedroom because I'm getting a nightstand next week. And I also wanted to get a painting because I'm really trying to like fix up my bedroom just to make it look better. But I wasn't able to go because one, I'm tired. Two, I just spent so much money at Whole Foods. I'm so irritated, but it's all necessary. So I went to the farmer's market. They didn't really have that much at this one that I went to. This is my first time going to the farmer's market in my neighborhood. So I'm still trying to find one that I really like. I picked up some kale. This is red kale. I also got some Asian spinach. I'm gonna put these in my breakfast frit frittatas. I've been having those like every morning and I need more vegetables for it. So I got these to put in that. I'm probably gonna roast some of this kale because I got a lot of kale. And I picked up some regular kale as well. They also had habanero. I have not had habaneros in my house since I moved to my apartment last year in October. So I was so pressed to get some of these. I didn't get too much because it's just me. But still, I'm gonna put it in the freezer. But I'm so excited to have habanero. Like what? I gotta wash those vegetables. Um, I picked up a lot of flowers. These were like $52 for these three at Whole Foods, but they're so healthy and so beautiful. Oh my goodness. So I'm excited to get these all ready and put them up in the house. I probably need to get bigger vases actually. So I, that's another reason for me to go to, um, mm, no, I think I'm okay. I think I'll be all right. Um, so I'm gonna be making, beef short ribs tonight so I picked up some stuff for that I did not get the red wine that I need which means I really do need to go to the store because I'm getting a cheap bottle of red wine I'm not using my good red wine I picked up some leeks some carrots the short ribs which have gone up so much at Whole Foods oh my god but they're so big so I can't really complain this too these were like this was like $60 for six I picked up my favorite salad mix and then I also re-upped on some um, split half chicken breasts. These are my favorite because when you get chicken breasts with the bone still in, it's so much more flavorful. Like if I never taught you anything or told you anything, get your chicken breast with the bone in. It holds so much flavor and it just tastes like 10 times better. So I picked up two. And I also picked up my favorite dessert because I'm almost out. I just bought some, but I've been eating it because of my cravings. So I picked up some more. This is the reason I actually came home because I could have gone to the other stores, but because this melts, I had to get home. Like I, was, I wasn't trying to risk it. It's yogurt, it's not ice cream. So when it melts, it's just disgusting. I almost forgot. I also got some time for tonight's dinner. I know what I forgot. I forgot cauliflower. I was supposed to make cauliflower mash tonight. Damn. Pick up some chicken broth because I'm gonna need this. I picked up some more almond milk because I'm almost out and it was on sale. I picked up some uh, multivitamin, one for myself and one for my best friend. He gotta pay me back for getting his. Why does his feel heavier than mine? How many comes in here? Oh, it's the same, I was about to say. Anyway, this is the multivitamin that I picked up. Focus, focus, focus. I have it in, I just had to play around with it. They have it in the gummies and I just ran out of my favorite, one of my favorite multivitamins. So I picked this up to replace it. Again, it's the Mary Ruth's Organic Women's Multivitamin, the gummies. They also have it in men, if any men are watching this. They also have it for men. I picked this up for my best friend. It's currently on sale for $20. So I'll get you some. And then I picked up some Parmesan cheese. This is for the meal that I plan on cooking today. So when I go to Aldi, um, oh my God, get that off my face. When I go to Aldi, um, I'm gonna pick up some chicken fajitas because I use that for meal prep. I'm gonna pick up some chicken sausages because I use that for breakfast. I'm gonna pick up some more organic eggs, egg whites, and that's it. Let me put that down in my phone because if I don't, I'm gonna end up buying things I don't need. Grocery, Aldi, chicken fajitas. I think I'm gonna pick up like three packets of those. Cause they're so good, and but they don't put a lot in the packets. Three to four packets. Um, chicken sausage, 
three to four, two to three. Egg whites, I think I'm gonna do three. Carton of eggs. And that's it. Oh, and guacamole, I need some more guacamole. So I try to buy just what it is that I need, which means I'm probably gonna have to go shopping every week, but I'm okay with that. I don't wanna buy too much and then it ends up going bad. That just doesn't make any sense for me. So I buy just what it is that I need. When it runs out, I go back to the store and I pick up some more and I'm perfectly fine with that. And that's all. So I'm about to just sit down and rest for a little bit and then I'm gonna get up and go to Aldi because I do wanna stay home. Colorado's playing today and we are supporting Co Sanders. We're supporting him. So I'm gonna get some rest, we'll get what I need, come back and tune in for the game. So peace. See y'all in a bit. These are the flowers. They are prepped and prime. I made my own flower food because two of them were missing their flower, but it's okay because with my flower food, it's gonna last longer. I'm just gonna leave them on the island for now because the house is pretty messy. There's no point in even pretending to like put them anywhere because it's just a mess right now. So after I get the house together, then I'll put them in their respectful, respective places. I think one of them is definitely gonna go into my bedroom. I'm thinking maybe the orange one. And I keep the two pinks out here. But yeah, I am about to sit my butt on the couch because like I said, I'm tired. Okay, so I have been gone pretty much the whole day. I did my laundry, folded it, put it away, or got the house together. Kitchen is still a little messy, but it's just dishes. I printed out some return slips because Amazon is being absolutely disgusting and I need them to come pick up this order that I did not want and they still sent it to me. Um, what I did also do is I ordered dinner because I did not cook. Because I didn't feel like cooking because I have been watching <laughs> The Blacklist all day. So I got some Indian food. I got some chicken, um, some steamed chicken dumplings. It's a lot of food. I got some chicken lollipops. It's just chicken with like the legs, you know. I got some garlic naan, naan, naan. It came with a lot of rice, but I'm just gonna use this for my meal prep. <laughs> And then I got spicy curry chicken, I believe. No, this is the spicy curry chicken. This is, let's see. I got it from Grubhub. Grubhub, Lord Jesus. I got, so the chicken lollipops, the steamed dumplings, chicken curry and chili chicken chili chicken i probably don't have to cook tomorrow for work because this is so much food and i know for a fact i'm not gonna eat a lot i am about to plate some of it and turn on the game because colorado Deion sanders team the buffalo buffalo they're playing at 10 o'clock we're all tuning in like we're all tuning in so I gotta get my seat ready to watch them play. Like I said, I just came from downstairs, so I had to wash my hands because touching elevators and all that stuff. Yeah. So the chipping dumplings definitely want to try those because they look so good. Um, I don't know if you guys can like look how good that looks. So good. All right, so I'm gonna try one on camera. I'm not a fan of like eating on camera because if I can hear you chewing, you need to check with Jesus. Mm. 
Really good. Really, really good. All right, I'm putting the rest of it away. So you guys know how I said I was gonna go to the movies to watch my boo, Denzel and the Equalizer. Once again, it didn't happen. Nothing came up, I just didn't feel like moving. I'm tired. I just wanted to relax. I literally just sat on my couch, holding my laundry, watching the Blacklist. And sometimes I kind of got a little guilty because I was like, you're being so lazy. Like, you have other errands to run. But I'm always on the go. So how is that lazy that I chose to rest, you know? Like listening to your body when it says sit still and just like rest. I did that and I don't feel any kind of way. All right. Chicken lollipops. This is what they look like. It's four lollipops, but I think I'm doing it with just one because I have some other chicken here. Again, so much food. You would think I was like hosting somebody. It's just me. There's no man. Just me. Next is the spicy chicken. And I asked them to make it really spicy. So pray for me. Not really, because I eat spicy food, but yeah. But this is what it looks like. You can't really see it, but I'll show you my plate. Let's taste it and see if it's spicy. No. All right, a little basmati rice, just a little bit. This is my weakness. I love rice. Like, if I could be rice, I would like to be rice in my next life. Okay. And then some of the curry soup. I can't really show you this because I feel like it's going to pour if I try. But I'll show you my plate. I just put everything on one plate. It's all going to the same place. Oh, this looks so good. I also told them to make the curry super spicy. No. But it's okay. Different cultures, different spice levels, you know? I'm African. I started eating spice at a very young age. So, not everybody can do it like us. I'm not saying anything, I'm just saying. How we eat spice in my family is different from other people. I'm not saying one is better than the other, you know? All right, my drink of choice. We're gonna do the lemon lime olipop. And we're gonna go fancy. And we're gonna put it in a glass. Cheers. Okay, my plate looks really disgusting because I put everything on one plate, but this is the curry chicken. That's the spicy chicken. That is the chicken lollipop, the garlic naan, and then you got the dumplings on the bottom. This is gonna hold me for the rest of the night. I'm not eating anything after this. And this is my olipop. But yeah, I'm about to sit down and enjoy my meal. I will probably not get back on. I will see you all tomorrow, Sunday. We gotta get up, do our cardio before church. And then I think my mom wants to go out to eat, which is a surprise to me. But I love to see my mama. So my sister hit me up and said, are you busy tomorrow? I said, no, I'm not really doing anything. She's like, your mom wants to go out to eat. I'm not gonna turn down a free meal when my mom is paying. So I'm probably gonna do my cardio, log on for church service, and then drive down to my mom's house so that we can eat if she still is serious. Cause she works at night. And I know how she feels about her sleep. So if she's still serious, then I'm definitely gonna go see my mama so that we can go and have a good meal together. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So write this down. How much trust you have depends on how much truth you've hidden of your life right now. Good morning. It may so, be a sign that you have not I kind of overslept. Your heart not really, deeply, kind of. Not but situation. I stayed up to watch the um, Colorado games last night. It was Colorado State versus Colorado University. Um, I tried to watch it. I fell asleep during the first 
During the second quarter, I fell asleep. And then I woke up at 2 o'clock in the morning on the couch. I was like, why does my neck hurt? I was slept. I slept in the worst position. So I got up, went to the bedroom, and obviously could not get back to sleep. So I stayed up till like 4, 30, 5 o'clock, just twiddling my fingers on my phone, on TikTok, on Twitter, on Instagram, until I finally was like, all right, enough is enough. You need to get some sleep because you have some stuff to do today. Today is a rainy day. That's why it looks, yeah. So I am up. I'm about to make some coffee. I'm going to finish watching the sermon. I'm going to go do my groceries and then come back and do my cardio because I can't do cardio after church because the gym is going to be closed for cleaning. Um, but yes, good morning. Happy Sunday. I hope you guys are well. I hope you're healthy. I hope you slept well. Um, and yeah, let's make some coffee. I said I'm right there with you. B, even if you start with two strand twists, shrinkage is real. Stop it. So I'm just making myself some breakfast. I have some bell pepper, some spinach, ground turkey, egg whites and two whole eggs, and then I'm just like warming up the pan. I'm gonna make a breakfast bowl, so that's why I have all this stuff out. I'm gonna show you guys when I'm done. This is the Asian spinach that I got from the farmer's market yesterday. <laughs> it shrunk so much, but I'm excited to like eat this. Okay, so this is the breakfast bowl. You have egg whites plus eggs and a little bit of reduced fat cheese, ground turkey sausage, spinach, mixed bell peppers. Okay, I added some more coffee, don't judge me. And then I also added guacamole because extra fats, extra fiber, and we are just healthy over here. But this looks so delicious. The recipe is going to be on Instagram, either today or tomorrow. Okay, so I wanna get the kitchen in order and then just clean up the living room a bit. I'm recording something for TikTok. And then clean up the living room a bit before I head downstairs to do my cardio because I didn't do it this morning because I overslept, but it still has to get done. So I'm going to just quickly clean up, put the trash out because it's trash pickup day, and then head downstairs. All right, so everything is clean. I lit some candles just to get rid of any lingering smells from breakfast that I made. I'm about to sit down for a few minutes and then head downstairs for cardio. I'm a little tired because I vacuumed, took out the trash, cleaned the bathroom, all of that jazz. But I'm just happy the house is clean. Okay, so I am finally about to go out. Um, the weather looks like it's only gonna get worse. It's gonna start really raining again around 4, 4.30. It is currently 3.30, so I wanna get out, go get what it is I need, come back in the house and just chill. I'm gonna go to Aldi, Target, Walmart, and TJ Maxx. They're literally all around each other, like right beside each other, so I can just knock out everything. I honestly don't have to go to Target. There's some t-shirts there that I want, but I don't really have to go. I wanna go to Walmart because I wanna pick up some toilet paper and some paper towels. Their price is just better, you know, save money. So I'm gonna go to Walmart first, and then I'm just going to um, stop by Aldi and TJ Maxx. I'm going to TJ Maxx primarily for meal plate, meal prep containers, because I broke one of mine and I just need more. And then I also wanna see if I can pick up a lamp for my bedroom, and that should be it. Nothing crazy, and then I need some more spray cooking spray, because I always get it from TJ Maxx. It's just cheaper, um, and again, we're saving money. So that's about it. Three stores. I doubt I'm gonna record anything. We'll see. But I just wanna run out now before the weather gets bad, because I really, like I've said multiple times, I don't like driving in inclement weather in my area, or in Maryland, period, the DMV, because People can't drive. And I refuse to get stuck, like, stuck with this nonsense because it's just like, 
while y'all on the road. So I'm gonna head out now. I will see you guys when I come back. I'll show you what it is that I picked up. Hopefully I stick to my list. Stick to the list, stick to the list, stick to the list. I'm right back. the best thing Walmart ever did was self-checkout because I was in and out. Alright, so the rain started, but I am on my second store, Aldi. And as you saw, it's right next to TJ Maxx and Target. I really want a pumpkin, but I just don't know where I'm gonna put it because I don't want too much stuff on my island. I did grab these hand towels for the oven just to switch it up. Okay, so I think I'm gonna swap out the ball that I have on my bed and put the pumpkin. This is so damn cute. Okay, so we are done at Aldi's. <sighs> I bought some decorations, but this is for my bedroom. If it doesn't look right, I'm gonna come back and return it, but it was just so cute. The pumpkins, so cute. Like, how could I not get it? Anyway, TJ Maxx, and then I'm done. I don't think I gotta go to Target. That's just more money I'm not trying to spend. Okay, so I'm trying to decide on what throw to get for my bed since I'm trying to add more fall colors. I really like this one because it means I can like have a lot of variety, but I also like this. It's supposed to be green, but you can't really see the color. I don't know. So because I could not find anything that I was really happy with, I just put it all back. I'm gonna go to Home Goods because they have more variety instead of just settling. So I actually do have to go to Target because Walmart did not have the mouthwash that I use. So I have to pick it up from Target. I cannot be without mouthwash. It's just not, it, it, you just don't feel clean, you know? So I'm gonna pick up some mouthwash and get the hell out of here. I'm not going to home goods anymore. I'm just tired. I'm tired of spending money, you know? All the decorations. I'm back from the store and I got everything I needed and I didn't actually think it was that much but it was a lot so we're gonna do a quick grocery haul from Walmart I got some good wipes this is for like I'm gonna put one in my gym bag because I like to have these when I go to the gym especially around that time of the month it just helps me feel fresh so I got a, three packs of those it's like eight dollars which is really good I got toilet paper and I got this fruit fly trap because I get fruit flies every once in a while and they irritate me. So I got this. It's two in a pack. It's actually pretty cool. Um, it's like $7 at Walmart. I got some more bathroom wipes. This is for like the bathroom for guests and whatnot. This is the one that actually breaks down in a toilet. So when you're buying your wet wipes for the bathroom, make sure it says plumber approved because you could be messing up your toilet by using the one that is not plumber approved. This one, because this is for the gym, I don't really care. That's not my bathroom. <laughs> um, I picked up some more soap because I'm almost out, Dove. And you guys saw the Whitney Houston t-shirt. This was $15 and honestly, I'm thinking about going back to return it, but it's just so cute because they didn't have the tour dates on the back. So I may not return it, but it was like $15. Walmart, what is wrong with you? That's all from Walmart. And then this is from Aldi. It's heavy because I have a lot of groceries in here, but I picked up some pumpkins. This is the first one and they're like the plush type. These are gonna go on my bed for like my fall decoration. I picked it up in cream 
and green. Super cute. I have to lint roll it because it's a little uh, messy. But I got Jimmy Dean scrambles for breakfast. I got four because I work four days a week. So if I don't feel like making breakfast, this is good for me. It is the low carb version because it has no potatoes in it. It has 24 grams of protein, two grams of carbs, and only 290 calories. Amazing. So again, I picked up four. I got some more eggs. Hopefully they didn't crack. These are the cage-free organic eggs. I got some spinach for my egg frittata because my Asian spinach, honestly, it's almost finished. So I got some more. I picked up a lot of chicken sausage because I eat these like crack. Um, uh uh, not with this one looking like this. Oh no, it's the cheese coming up. Okay, and I picked up two flavors I got the apple flavor and I got the ch tomato basil flavor. These are from Aldi. I picked up a lot of egg whites. I picked up a cauliflower that I did not get yesterday that I need to make my mashed cauliflower. So I picked up one head because I don't want too much. And then I got these napkin, I mean these um towels for the oven just for like to be fall and festive or whatnot. Um, and then I picked up a lot of the fajita chicken. This was I picked up about six pack. Um yeah, I picked up about six. I basically cleaned them out because they were on sale. And these are so convenient to have because the days that I don't feel like cooking, and I'm probably not gonna meal prep for the week, so I'm probably gonna have this with the salads that I bought from um, Target. This is like a lifesaver because I could do five ounces of this and it's about 26 to 30 grams of protein, which is amazing. Um, and that's all from Aldi. From TJ Maxx, ignore the Target bag. I got these dryer balls because apparently dryer sheets are not really good for your laundry because they leave a waxy residue on your clothes. So I'm switching over to something more natural. <laughs> I'm gonna be using these wool dryer balls. I picked up a sponge holder because mine is broken and I'm gonna replace it. So mine in the sink is broken. So I picked this up to replace it and I like the fact that it's black. It goes with my theme in the house. I picked up the food storage containers. These were expensive, so I only got three. I got the two square ones and I got this one circular one. This is gonna be perfect for my salads. I picked up some more olive oil spray. They didn't have any avocados, so I got olive oil. And then I got this um, drip tray for the sink. It's to prevent water from getting everywhere. I, I get so tired of cleaning the same spots. And that is all from TJ Maxx. From Target, I got coffee, more coffee, mouthwash. Then I got this cute shirt that everybody is raving about. It's so soft. Um, they didn't have any other colors, but I picked up white because this was my size and it was the last one. Usually, I, no, it wasn't the last one. It was the last one in my size. So I picked this up. I'm going to see if I can order the other colors because I want the um jade green one for like fall and the burgundy one and then i got some yogurt because i love yogurt and i'm almost out not really but really so i picked up six um <laughs> one is the ratio yogurt you can't really see that but this is the ratio brand and then i also picked up the okios brand so yeah that is everything that i bought i spent a good amount of money but my bills are paid I saved and this is what is for me so I don't feel bad anyway I'm gonna put this away and then I'm gonna head down to the gym to do my cardio because I still haven't done it and being disciplined means I'm gonna do it no matter how tired I am or no matter how late in the day it is so yes let's put this away okay I'll be right back All right, the kitchen is clean. I put the food away and I am about to head out the door to go do my 30 minutes of cardio. I'm tired, but that's not an excuse. So I will catch you guys when I come back and after I have showered and changed into my jersey, because my boys play today at 8.20 or 8.30, one of them times, but I will catch you guys when I am all done.
Hey y'all, so I am showered clean. I did my little exfoliation. Exfoliated my face, exfoliated my skin. I feel good, I smell good, and I'm hungry. So I'm warming up some dinner. Um, my leftovers from yesterday. I finished the curry chicken. That's what I'm warming up. I still have the spicy chicken, some of the dumplings, and the chicken lollipops, but that's not what I want. I want some curry. So I'm warming that up right now. I'm probably gonna have a fruit smoothie before I go to bed because I don't think this is gonna be enough protein to cap me off, so I'm gonna have a fruit smoothie before bed. I am catching up on some anime before my team plays at 8.20. Um, just in a really good mood, you know. I'm gonna eat my dinner and then catch up with you guys when I'm done. The vlog is probably gonna end somewhere around here, but you know, I'm gonna come back after I eat and stuff my face. All right, so you have the curry here. I'm not gonna get too close because it's gonna get foggy. Curry chicken, a little basmati rice, and some leftover green beans. Just for veggies. I am probably gonna have another kombucha or Olipop with this. Um, just because I'm eating carbs late at night and the Olipop always helps my tummy. But that's about it. See y'all in a little bit. So my team is doing absolutely horrible. So I turned the game off because I just, I can't. Like I can't watch them lose in such a manner. It's, it's easy to watch your team lose when they're playing hard and the loss is like something that was very small and it wasn't by too many faults. But tonight, y'all, they're playing like they're complete strangers. Like they don't know each other. Like they picked them off the street and said, all right, you guys are on a team, go play. It, it's so bad, I had to turn off the game. So I am catching up on the Wheel of Time. I think this is episode six, but this is where I'm gonna end the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend's vlog. Um, I will catch you all next weekend. That's going to be my fourth vlog, fourth video. My goal for this month was four videos, and I did it, and I'm so proud of myself. And I feel like I'm just getting better with the content that I am creating and how I'm editing. It's just, it's really great because I'm doing what I want and not really comparing myself to others. And I feel like that is so important when you want to like journey into like content creation and all that other stuff. But that's enough rambling. It is 1038. I'm going to finish this episode and go to bed because I have to wake up early tomorrow and head to the gym. But anyways, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and come back. And if you are new here, thank you for sticking around the whole video. You're amazing. God bless you all. Have an amazing week, and I will see you guys next weekend.